<clears throat> la, 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 la. Uh, all right, good morning everyone and welcome to the Traveller Mockery Sub 7, Sub 8 special. We arrived in Germany, a bit up north from Dresden, uh, at the Decker Lausitz Ring. So um, this morning is a pretty early AM. We did a uh, three and a half hour nap and now we're about to go out for a ride with like Christian and his team. Then we're going to meet up Joe and see what everyone's got in store today for us. The Sub 7, Sub 8 project is not, what, it's not about achieving a world record, it's about what, achieving what's humanly possible over the full triathlon distance. Uh, and also inspiring children. So uh, let's see how the athletes feel today. Just sneak in. Look at that. I lost the bag. Christian doesn't know that I'm there, but I'm uh, gonna gather some data and uh, pass it off to Joe because I need to sort my man out. Hey, hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You're supposed to be this close to me, and hopefully. Cruising around at 47 k's an hour into the headwind, uh, ramping up that average on Strava, and uh, I'm gonna do a turn in the front for a bit, but first I'm gonna set it in. turn on the front but it was too hard they said it was too spiky Where are you, Joe? I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here in spirit, mate. I'm here in person. That's me. That's uh, me down there, mate. Go, Al. Turns into Joe. Yeah. It's Go, the, Joe. It's the boys on tour, and uh, I saw you smiling when, during the pro briefing, they said every team is going to have a lead kayak on the swim. Was I smiling when they said that? Yeah. Because well, I, I get to see it for a change instead what? of uh, <laughs> seeing it disappear, I can actually it will stay with me. <laughs> will it be the first time in the race you get you have a lead kayak? Probably will be. Yeah. First time I've had a lead kayak in the swim. All right, so very, very last minute. We just uh, did some practice as um, uh, maybe I'm switching in for uh, Christian as one of the uh, the pacemakers. We did some practice racing in uh, in Amsterdam. Um, Christian, you're probably feeling all right, so we're not going to ask, uh, ask that. He, watch out, Christian. You know what he's like. He's a bit of a spy in the camp, isn't he? After he's uh, he tried to meet you in Amsterdam, didn't he? Get you in his car and stuff. Find out what info he could. Now he's like sneaking into your pace line. So now you're straight into four by one k threshold yeah, swim. Yeah, yeah. He told me I was like next day. I was like right, four by one k it is, and then I'll do a couple of five hundreds afterwards just to add a little bit extra. <laughs> like like the, the arm speed, uh, five hundreds. No, yeah. Shorting the in. Christian's got the uh, the massive chest, like with a massive long heart to get everything in. Heart what have lion, you? Isn't he? What have you got to uh, that's going to give you that bit extra on race day? Just the mental bit, mate. That's all. <laughs> I've got the team that's turning me round, mate. That's what's going to give me the extra. All right, he's got the team. The um, is there? A... What do you think though? Because our team hasn't been practicing together. Like, what's the rumors in your camp? Like the rumors is yeah, because you guys did like a proper team training camp, didn't you? You're all dialed in. You've been practicing. What what do they think about our team? When when Alex yesterday <laughs> talked about like there will only be one team out there on the course, yeah. And I was thinking, hi, oh, he might be actually right, because I've heard that your team is just full of egos. <laughs> <laughs> do you try. think they're just like looking to smash the bike and see yeah, what yeah. pace they can go? <laughs> is that what everyone's saying about on our <laughs> team? And the more broken your quads are coming off the bike. The better job they have done. Do they think that? <laughs> do, does, it, does your team think that I'll be walking the marathon at some point? Uh, I think we wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I think we like if, if I need the pace to be slower, I can say slower, yeah. and they will slow down. And what mine will be like? Did he say faster? <laughs> <laughs> Knock so, it up, the K when, boys. Knock it up. When I was doing, uh, so I was doing a couple of laps in your uh, like in the in the pace line, 
and it's quite spiky like some you, you'd think it's quite easy but it's mega spiky if you're not sitting in right in the corners you go up to like 340 310 if it's yeah. spiky like that mate you're gonna be smoking it's actually around. funny what he said about the egos because when i spoke to alex dowsett like uh when it got announced i was like oh mate are you still coming uh, and he's like yeah and i was having a chat and he's like i think the biggest worry about our team could be the egos in the team <laughs> could be <laughs> that people just want to push the pace he's like three and a half hours is out of our, out of all of our comfort zone even if they don't want to admit it it goes I think people might get carried away <laughs> what about um, so about about the swim how much minutes do you think you can take out of Joe four or five like uh, even I though I've been doing the four by one case and stuff like that you know I've been doing your threshold sets I've been doing the 350 kick you know uh, but, but this is like a speedy race you know you have yeah. a pacer in front so you need more to have that top end speed. Yeah. so there's a four five hundred six hundred so what are you looking to swim then uh, 109 pace 109 maybe? well you know, hell, like, you know you know, you know <laughs> what there aren't you <laughs> you know how tricky it is with gps yeah. open yeah. water so it's more yeah. like them wetsuits like, must be good what you've got made then because <laughs> yeah. um you've got a uh your wetsuit has been announced right yeah so it's a uh, kind of the new fjord 3.0 or we use the technology that we'll use there uh with extra new print on this one so it's seven or eight millimeter on the thickest. So I'll be floating like a... Sounds lovely. Like a balloon and the, the same flexibility in the shoulders. But so also the, the, the pacers have got like a special suit so they can like drag you along a little bit more, right? No, we didn't put that in. So we were thinking maybe to put oh. on like some KGs on the hip. So they were like sinking so they could swim all out because... They have a <laughs> the, bigger drag. So they are so much faster in, in the water than I am. <laughs> the guy is swimming 25K at my like 400 pace it's so uh, it's crazy isn't it i know how what's your game plan on staying with uh, alistair uh, brownlee on the swim i don't know mate i haven't swum with him yet swim on his hip mate and just hang on for dear life you know tell him to just tow me along <laughs> you might have you might have had some experience from uh, earlier races in the uk i guess where you have been both racing and you've been on his feet or? oh yeah yeah no well normally he's behind me so i don't really uh get to practice drafting him much but um He's uh, been able to swim on my feet and stuff, but I've said this time he's got to step it up, you know, and uh, swim, swim on the big dog's uh, shot. Just, just, just be careful, don't go on his hip, because then you can get the... Uh... <laughs> Would, um... well, you must have swam on his hip before though, haven't you? What's it like, what's it like then? You could probably give me some tips, couldn't you, on swimming on his hip? Just, Is he a violent just, swimmer? I would say go on the feet, don't he go on the hip. He dunked that guy though, didn't he, and he won the ITU races, didn't he? Were you in that one when he did it? In Leeds last year. Yeah, do you think he'd do it to me? No, like if I wasn't swimming if, quick if enough, if you go on the hip, if you go on the hip, he will. So stay on the feet. Stay on the feet. If um, so, if uh, on race day you would go, would you either go both go top seven? You would do, for example, six fifty five, and Joe would do six fifty four. Oh, or both over seven, but you would beat him. I would rather go seven zero zero and beat him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your time is, what you've submitted, a seven hour time. Uh, uh, like uh, it actually doesn't even work out to under seven hours. I, I think it's not me who put it in, I think it's because we didn't put it in, so it just... <laughs> so they just made it. Yeah. Because we were wondering, so. does the team have faith that you can go sub seven because they've submitted a seven hour dead time? So we were like, <laughs> Jesus, like the team doesn't even think it. <laughs> uh, I, I, think, I think it's more that they, they saw my swim in Dubai and they saw how I was riding and then they just, okay. He will have to take it all on the run. We'll, we'll adapt it. But you want to run a 220 marathon. Why would you pick two very, very, very skinny boys? Because you want someone to keep you out of the wind, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and it's, <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point, actually. You don't guys want to get who, much shelter from them boys. <laughs> yeah. No matter. You, you can always say, ramp up the speed, ramp up the speed, and they can do it, you know? So yeah. you want to have the guys who can be able to do so. Uh, but I guess I'm looking more at the 3.25, dude, no. No, I'm not coming! Walk through! Okay, I will... Okay. He's got to go. He's past his bedtime. So he like, needs an afternoon nap. <laughs> All right, so Christian, I heard um, Joe's team's got the KOM around the track. So uh, I, do you reckon we should get it together? It could be because we haven't uploaded our sessions properly yet. But uh, I feel my legs are ready for it. What about yours? Yeah, we can give it a try. All right, let's get it. Yeah, let's take it. Good to go. Yeah, yeah, we 
we just did a couple of <laughs> we did a couple of laps, 150 k's an hour through that bend. It's right there. And uh, I've heard that it, it's designed it so you will never die in the corner. You will just kind of flip turn uh, around and then it will come down again into the bottom. Oh, no, but you feel, <laughs> uh, feel that G force in that torque. One more lap and we'll have to an hour. That's including the warm-up. That should be enough and cool down. Let's see. We should have connected your heart rate monitor. I bet that heart rate went well up. <laughs> <laughs> it will be equal to the speed. Well, yeah, well above LT3, but yeah. uh, it's good to have it done. They need to need to up their game. 100 plus k's an hour average, 130 k's an hour average. Um, we got the KOM. Right, nice 189 one. in heart rate. Step up your game, Joe. Step it up. <laughs> right, Pepe, these are cyclists. They're always uh, pretty serious. Let's put them on the spot and uh, see what they've got to say about some very important subjects. All right, Michael, so I've got a tough question. Um, in the peloton, and cyclists are always speaking about triathletes, like they love triathletes. They're great at cycling, running, swimming. What is it, what you love most about triathletes? That they're average at three sports. <laughs> Joe, we've been training for months all winter. Um, finally got announced, you're one of the, uh, the guys going top seven, and I'm not on the pacing team. What's going wrong? Mate, like, I heard you weren't, your agent told me you weren't available for it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Why? I'm here, I'm here. Would you rather ride yourself with, like, shaved legs but no socks or hairy legs and high socks? <sighs> shaved legs and no socks. Yeah, shaved legs is too good a look to, to avoid. Um, the high socks is, I've come from swimming, so, like, high socks isn't something personal to me. But how many watts do you think I lose there with my uh, hair on my uh, calves? Uh, seven to ten. That's the number we throw around. Really? Yeah. yeah. Shave legs and ankle socks. Shave legs and ankle socks. All right, last one. What's the uh, biggest aerodynamic gain a triathlete can get off you? All right, went around the track today. I managed to do like 53 k's an hour. If someone's off the team, you know, you know why to find me. Yeah, you're the guy, mate. You know, uh, Bloom's team flew someone in from Derby. There was no need to do that if they'd known what, what they had, what they could have had. Is there, if uh, you know? Christian, if you need someone, hit me up. Would you, um, uh, what's the thing you love most about triathletes? Because cyclists always love triathletes. I can hear in the, in the telephone. <laughs> what do you love most about triathletes? Um, what's not to love? The, the calf guards, the, the lack of socks, the, the sand between the toes, the, the superior bike handling skills, um, the, the bottles everywhere on the bike. Like wherever you can put a bottle, there seems to be a bottle. Um, the transition, like running with a, bike. a tri bike, like it's beautiful. So we gain a lot of knowledge, a lot of data, a lot of speed, a lot of free miles on uh, on the Strava. It was the first day here at the uh, sub seven, sub eight, and uh, we're heading home. It was a long day. Thanks for watching the Triathlon Mockery channel, and uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you tomorrow. Back for a new video.